Now we're done with our front trouser fabric, we're moving on to sleesha. You need it doubled like normal, and then fold it over for our pocket bag. What I'm doing is measuring up about how much space my pocket is going to take up so that I can fold the fabric in an economical manner. I'm checking the width of the trouser from 2.5cm past the centre front line and adding 3cm as well. That's about how much I want it folded over. Then I know the height of my pocket, so I mark that on too. Mine is 33cm here, but I think that 40cm would have been a much better height. Lay your trouser onto that fabric and maneuver it until the folds of the sleesha comes to where you want it. Usually though, the top of the pocket is at the same point as the crease, and the bottom is 2.54 centimeters past the crease. The bottom of the sleesha being at least 37 centimeters below the inlay. Trace around the trouser, trace off the notches and pocket line, and chalk on the waistline. Remove the trouser and mark down the amount that you added to the bottom of the blind plus at least a centimetre, assuming a half centimetre French seam, from the bottom notch. So I'll do four centimetres. From there you can draw the shape you want your pocket to be. From that same point draw the inlay 3cm out from the side seam edge all the way up to the waistband inlay. You could cut it out at this point and then add a centimetre seam allowance to the slant and draw a horizontal line out from the notch. Make sure that you unfold it so that we only cut away one side giving us an asymmetrical shape. To cut out your back pockets, 19cm by 30cm. Simple enough, but this time I wanted to try curved edges. For the same reason, I decided to taper the top of the pocket as well. At this point, you could also cut the silicia for the fly and fly guard. You only need one of each, but for the guard, it needs to more than eclipse the fabric. Lay the fly onto the silicia with the grains parallel, and copy off the outer curve, the one without the notch, without. Extend it a bit above the top and bottom, and take away the fly. Measure into the proverbial fly by three or four centimeters all along the curved line and cut that piece out. Doing it this way is just more economical than cutting silicia on the bias. Now it's also good for cutting the curtain and waistband lining. These can be silicia or lining, though I think it's a bad idea to make the waistband lining from lining and requires an extra step when attaching it. So hold fast on that for now, methinks. For the width of the curtain, it's double the height you want, plus two centimeters. I've chosen 14 centimeters plus two, five and three quarter inches. I'd suggest cutting it on the fold of the fabric because it's mostly used as one long piece and we can take what we want from it. Though, we, though what we need is the waist measurement plus 20 centimeters for inlay, but you'll see. The waistband linings are the same dimensions as the waistband. If you use a consistent silicia, then I suggest that, that you keep safe what you don't use on this trouser, because the small bits of it we need and can use later on. There's also this other bit which strengthens the fork, the crotch guard. Like, we've all had a pair of trousers split open on us. Well, here's the preventative measure that you'd want on a £1,000 pair of trousers. 
This is Alicia, make sure it's doubled up. Cut two squares, parallel and or perpendicular, same thing, to the grain, about 15 by 15 centimeters. Yeah, mine is 10 by 10, 15 by 15 is a better size. Plus, if we had plinking shears, we could cut a triangle away from one of the edges. That would be better, but I don't have a pen. You'll have two pieces of fabric which you should iron in half and or along the long side across the bias, creating triangles. We need to curve the folded edge. Wet it. Use a steaming iron and pull it, stretching the edge. Try to shrink the silesia towards the point by pulling the point and steamily pulling the point perpendicular away from the iron, rocking them back and forth, moving to the point. Take your front trouser and place the point onto the triangle. Be sure that the top resides below the zip notch or at least a centimeter above it. Cut it out following the edge of the fork.